in a lot of places, especially like New York <laughs> and shit, it being conservative is like being gay in the fifties, where you just sort of look over at a guy and you're like, I was at my wife, my wife's f- family reunion. And uh, there was a, like, they're all lefties, Midwestern, Madison, Wisconsin types. And uh, this was the, her, she's half Amer- Indian, half white. So this is the white side. And uh, I was talking to her cousin and we, we were told not to talk about politics because my mother-in-law is very, very, she's a liberal activist. And uh, so we were avoiding it. And then I heard him say, yeah, I mean, you could tax these companies more, but you know, you get less of something when you tax it. So maybe there'd be less business. And I was like, and then I sort of sauntered over to him like a homo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, the concept of taxing makes sense. We need roads and stuff, but it is innately corrupt and bureaucratic. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a couple more gay clues. And then I was like, I'm going to go pick up more beer. You want to come? And he's like, <laughs> and then we get in the car and it's just like Trump, holy truck, he's kicking ass like this when he was president. They kind of moved him. Screaming at each other the whole drive. Break into <laughs> my country, Here. tis of thee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we get back to the party and like, just like gays who had fucked in an alleyway, we both split ways and like I go put the beer in the fridge and we sort of have our backs to each other because yeah. we're not allowed to think these things. <laughs> 